and here is my cream sweet cream or sweet corn casserole 14 little circles out of this oh my gosh that's two teaspoons of cinnamon and here we are i didn't think it was gonna pop up that easily i gotta get to chopping those onions and you know what i forgot on my plate a piece of sausage and oh my gosh these are delicious isn't that cute and there that's the finished one i wish i had videotaped in there Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be building a new craft table. Well, my husband will be building it for me. So I wanted to show you real quick what I have now and then I'll be showing you the process of us putting together a new table. So let's get in there. All right, this is the table that I have right now. My husband put this table together. The cat was not part of it. Anyway, put this table together. It's a really nice table, but I've been wanting something bigger, something with some storage on the sides. So what I've done is uh, I purchased these shelving units. It's a five shelf shelving unit. I got these from Walmart. They were only 25 bucks and I got two of them and uh, I've ordered two more because I've decided that this bottom part, which is separate from the top part, as you can see there, right here all this is a separate part that can get built separately and I don't have to add this top part so I'm going to be using the two bottom parts from these shelves to create a new table so we're taking this out and we're going to rebuild something brand new we've got our plywood for the tabletop which I'm going to have to sand down and paint we got a bit of work to do and the top parts of the shelves these pieces we're gonna end up building some shelves so we're gonna take that box out of here as well we're gonna be building some shelves in between we're probably gonna separate these further into the corners but I'll show you when we have made that decision or rather I have made the decision first let's get to making a brand new table my husband needs to get this one out and we'll be back okay here we have the boxes for the five shelf bookcase. I have one here and I have one in the hallway. We're going to go ahead and open this one first and get to building the bottom part. All right, well here are all the pieces. We have sorted them out here all over the living room as you can see. We have uh, the instructions on the floor. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be pulling out just the parts that we need for the bottom. Here my husband is putting together just those bottom pieces. We skipped over the part where you put the top piece together because we're not going to be using that right now. So basically he's just uh, tapping them in with the screws that are all provided. All the holes are already pre-drilled. Everything is super easy. We've already done this before, so we kind of already know what to do. And uh, this is it. We're putting them together, putting a backing on them. It's just a cardboard kind of a piece that goes in the back. And uh, you just sort of try to align it as best as you can. And uh, it comes with a bunch of little nails. And it's actually got the little holes already there. You can kind of see them here. All these little holes so we're just going to nail through each of those little holes and uh, then we're off to lifting it up so that we can then add a shelf in there and here we go there's the shelf uh, my husband's putting the little I don't know what these little things are called but obviously you can see that it has different holes so that you can decide what height you want to put your shelf we've gone ahead and got right smack in the middle so he's uh, aligning those little I don't know what they're called, shelf, pins, holders, whatever. He's putting those in, <laughs> then he's going to be putting in the shelf, and then we'll build the other bottom piece. And there he goes. Nice and perfect fit. Okay, so what we have here is we've got the two bottom parts of the shelving bookcases that we put together. And that's actually our tabletop on the floor, but we've decided to put that upside down. And of course, that'll have to be painted and such, but for now it is upside down and the shelves are upside down. And what we're going to do is we're going to screw from underneath what would be the top, this part, onto the tabletop plywood here. So that's what my husband's going to do. He's going to screw down on both sides to attach. So we've been measuring the length from the edges on both sides and then from the end of, of the table, the tabletop, 
And then those same measurements, we're going to use them on the other side. But first, we're going to secure this part to the tabletop. Okay, so my husband has screwed the other shelf part. That would be the actual top of the shelf. He screwed it onto the tabletop. And, of course, we did the other one, and I showed you where he was doing that. So now we've got, and I can't pan out far back enough, but we've got these two ends. And there's going to be shelf in there. It's going to be shelf on the other side. But before we do that, because I want to have some casters on this desk, and we can't leave it just like that because we don't want these, you know, sides kind of, you know, flipping in or something. So we have to put some sort of support going across here. So my husband's cutting two two by four pieces that'll go running that way and then one on that side running to meet up over there and then when we've got the after we've got the two by fours in here we're going to put pivoting or swiveling rolling casters here those little wheels that you put at the bottom of desk so that the, the desk can move this way and it can move that way depending on which way i need to move it but that's what he's working on right now he's Okay, so here are the pieces of the 2x4 that my husband has cut to fit between the two tables, and they're butted up uh, against the uh, this little inside edge and the side, the bottom, which will be the f on the floor. And the same on the other side, another 2x4 over here. Uh, we just found out that our coast our casters, the little wheels, just came in so he's off to the mailbox to get those from there and uh, so we can go ahead and put them on there because I thought we were gonna have to wait for them to be delivered by Federal Express or something and it was gonna be later in the day but thankfully it was the post office and they're here so we we're gonna be able to go ahead and put those on now rather than waiting till later tonight or tomorrow so that's fantastic so I'm just waiting for him he's gonna screw this down to this uh, shelving which is right here He's either going to have to screw in from in here to capture this and the, the same obviously on the four parts and then and then he will then decide where the casters will go. Okay, so what my husband has done is he's screwed down the casters, the four casters to the two by fours and that's caught on to a little bit of this shelving board that's at the, going to be at the bottom obviously because we have it still turned over. So now what he's going to do is he's going to also screw here on the uh, sideboard to the 2x4 to make sure this is well caught on there and it's well uh, balanced and everything's caught really well. So then we can go ahead and turn this over and then when we turn it over we'll be able to screw here up into or down into this 2x4 obviously when it's turned back to the right side. That's where, where we are at, and we'll be back. And there you go. That's where he screwed that in. That's going to be at the bottom of the table, at the bottom edge, so I don't really care about that. Just going to clean off a little bit around it. And he's doing that to all four sides where each of these casters is. This is the bottom of the table. This is looking good. And then we'll see where this goes from here. All right, so here's the progress on our table. It's all been screwed together. The two by fours that are running across the bottom have been screwed through the inside, and I honestly don't mind that because I'm gonna be putting little baskets in there. There's gonna be a shelf right here. So all that right there, little gaps there from this cardboard thingy that we had to put in the back. That's not even bothering me. What I want is a storage, and we know that this is nice and sturdy now. This is obviously screwed from underneath. This is our tabletop. Let me go ahead and explain how we came across this size of tabletop. What we did is we bought a piece of plywood that was an eight foot by four foot and a three quarter inch thickness. This is what it is, a three quarter inch thickness of plywood. And it is, again, eight foot by four foot. What we had them do is we had them cut it at five feet so, and then we had them cut this, this piece here at three feet. So we ended up having this five by three. This five by three is this tabletop. So my tabletop is three foot 
by five foot, which is really nice because before I had a table that was about four feet long and about 32 inches um, across. And now I've got an extra four inches, but I've got about a foot, almost a foot here longer. Uh, and what I have left over from that big piece of plywood is a piece that's three foot by four foot and a piece that's a one by five feet. Okay, so this three by four is now going to get cut to fit in here. And what I need in here is a 33 and a quarter by a 28 and a quarter. So I obviously have enough out of this little piece of plywood to do that bottom shelf. And this one by five, we're going to be using it in my ugly closet, which still needs to be reorganized because I was organizing, but then I threw everything in there. But I'm going to create a shelf in there. So that's another another project for another time. So this piece of plywood obviously came in handy for something. So we're not wasting anything. And this piece of plywood, this whole big eight by four foot cost us $24.97, which is about 25 bucks. And then of course we bought the two by four. This two by four was a two by four by 10 feet long. Okay, so we had them go ahead and cut it for us in half while we were at uh, Home Depot and we had them cut the board again. So we didn't have to worry about getting a big old piece of plywood in our vehicle. And we didn't have to worry about a big old 10 foot piece of uh, two by four in our vehicle. We had them go ahead and cut all these pieces for us there. And that was absolutely free. So we ended up with two five foot pieces of two by four. And then my husband, of course, when he measured, and I can't remember the measurement now, uh, but we ended up having obviously to cut the boards shorter to fit in there but that's all you're going to have to do is just measure your distance like I explained earlier cut the two by fours to that distance so that they can then be placed in there so anyway um this board the two by four was about another three four bucks I can't recall exactly but then we also bought a box of wood screw so we spent about 40 bucks at Home Depot just a little bit less at Home Depot these shelves, I got them from Walmart. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to link you down below uh, where I got these uh, five shelf uh, bookshelves. Okay, it's that big one all the way across up here. There's one behind me, but I can't turn around. I'm not very flexible. Anyway, we use the bottom parts. So we bought two. I bought two more of these, and these were $24.97 on Walmart.com. Now, if you buy... $35 worth of items from uh, Walmart, you get free shipping. So two of these was 50 bucks, obviously. That was free shipping, plus my 40 bucks. We're talking under $100 to put this table together. Now, of course, I haven't painted, I haven't sanded, and I haven't done anything, but what I think I've decided to do is that I'm gonna put some contact paper on um, this uh, tabletop. So I'm allotting myself that extra 10 bucks. So I'm saying uh, we're gonna, this table cost us about 100 bucks to do because it was 40 for all the wood and the wood screws, 50 for these shelves. And not only that, but the top part of these of these bookshelves is something that's left over for us to create something that's going to go between these two bookshelves. So 100 bucks. I'm doing a big table, plus I'm doing some shelving that's going to go right here. So this, I think this is a really great project. My husband is coming with this, the piece of plywood they're gonna be, we're gonna be putting down here. And then I'm gonna put the, the shelves that go here, clean it up and get some contact paper or paint, whatever I decide, I'll be letting you know. And then I'll show you the finished table once it's all done. Now look at that. <laughs> That's the bottom piece my husband cut out from that uh, leftover three by four. He cut it to fit right in there and it is perfect it just he just slid it in there and let it drop and it's right on top of the two by fours now he just has to screw them down just to make sure everything is nice and stable nothing's gonna move and it is secure and safe but I'm so happy with this table it's not quite done we're almost there and I am so so happy with it yes yes All right, so now that I've got a bottom shelf and a top ta a tabletop on my desk, it is time to cover it. I've bought this uh, a peel and stick. It's a dry erase, a laminate is what it is, but this is enough to uh, cover my tabletop. At least one of these rolls is. It is um, 
20 by 20 inch by 12 feet and this is 10 5 feet and uh, I've got 36 inches so I've got a double this would be we'd be using 10 feet of it and then of course I have 40 inches to play with so and I have 40 across and then I've got the extra two feet to also play uh, at the edge here in which I'm going to end up folding and wrapping around at each of these edges now I don't expect this to be like perfectly you know adhesive to this so I'm probably going to use my glue gun or not my glue gun but my staple gun to staple the edge to the bottom as I wrap it around here and on the other end of course so that's what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be I'm going to go ahead and use one of these rolls to try and cover the whole top and then of course I got an extra roll because I thought well I'll do the bottom uh, I may use the um, the cover that I got from the Dollar Tree because this happens to be a, like I said it's a dry erase laminate and I can actually make a dry erase board out of it so I don't know we'll see if I end up using it at the bottom or just use this other um, sticky cover from that I got from the Dollar Tree which I'm I have been using in some of my shelves so here we go let's get it covered up and then we'll be done with that part of the table all right so last night I forgot to go ahead and finish this off and uh, got a little tired but I did get to finish off putting this uh, paper on the top of my table it is uh, sticking on pretty much well I mean the little edges here because it's, it folds over and because the paper is really thick it doesn't really stick on the edges but I'm happy with it and what I've done is I've stapled underneath and uh, all I need to do now is just do that bottom part but I'm not going to worry about it now I want to go ahead and finish off this video because I have other projects to do and I need to get to doing them but here's the side where the shelves are and there's the whole top here's the other side which is exactly like the other side that I just showed you now and we walk around to this part over here and here's the other end with these shelves and I'm really really happy with my whole table and I can't wait to start using it I need to get some items out of here out of this room and organized and uh, then I can start filling up my little shelves I've got some little containers as you can see down there which are gonna go on the sides here but I've got some shelves to create now for other part of my room and this is it I hope you enjoyed uh, our tutorial on how to create this uh, craft table using these bookshelf uh, parts bottom parts and uh, you can obviously finish it off how you want you could paint it sand it down really well paint it uh, laminate it use contact paper like I did you can even use those little tiles that you use on floors to put on the top this is a five by three so it'd be great you could do three rows this way five rows that way so you would need 15 of those squares which I thought about doing but then I thought about contact paper because you know what's going to go on top of here? A clear plastic. And then I also have my grid for uh, quilting that's going to go on top of here. So I'm not too concerned about it being painted or if I have this on here. I just wanted something to cover the wood. And I'm really happy with it. You can finish it off however you like. But I hope this inspires you to create your own craft table again. This was, I'm going to say, 100 bucks altogether, everything, as I explained last night. Or in the previous uh, clip of the video it's the next day for me and there's my kitty so it's all kitty approved okay everyone please give me a big old thumbs up leave a nice comment you don't want that end showing <laughs> subscribe hey kitty and as always enjoy